In today's tutorial, we're gonna try to break main stage. So for this experiment, I want to first let you know the specs of my Mac, because your Mac might not have the exact same specs as mine, so obviously I'm not gonna be able to test this on 400 different Macs at once to see how all of these different systems uh, handle it. But I have a 2.7 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor and 16 gigabytes of RAM, and this is a 2016 Mac, and I am running Mojave and MainStage 3.4. And this is a pretty standard setup for most folks now. Um, but with less RAM, obviously you might run into these walls that I'm anticipating will run into sooner. Uh, if your computer's newer and more powerful, you might be able to get away with even more than I get away with. Um, so for this test, we're just gonna use the Keyboard Minimalist Concert because it's minimal, it's very simple. There's not a lot going on, and I really want us to be able to focus on how each of these different variables impact MainStage's performance. Okay, so now we have the Keyboard Minimalist Concert open, and it loads with just this one piano patch. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is just grab this channel strip, this electric piano channel strip, and I'm gonna copy and paste it a bunch of times. So I don't know, that's like maybe 15, 16 times. So right away, it's distorted. Bring the volume down here. So it's clipping because there's 16 signals going through here at once. But if you look at CPU and memory usage, it's still fine. So we've got 16 or so of the same exact thing going and main stage is fine. Uh, so now let's duplicate this patch a bunch. So we're gonna copy and paste the patch a bunch of times. Now this might take a second. The idea here is that main stage tries to keep every patch in your patch list available at a moment's notice. So you could play a patch, sustain, change to another patch, and it would just be available and the old patch would continue to sustain as long as you asked it to. So we've got 12 here. I'm gonna do a few more. Um, so we've got pretty intense patch from a channel strip perspective, and then we've got a bunch of that patch. So once this finishes duplicating, then we'll check it out. We have 25 of this patch now. So I'm gonna keep my finger on the volume here. So again, it's clipping just because the audio is being overloaded by all of these channel strips. And what I could actually do here, I'll bring the output volume down. So it's still clean. Now I'm just gonna change patches and we'll see. Main stage is doing fine. So I'm changing through patches while holding my sustain pedal down. And main stage is still keeping up pretty well. Now let's do something a little bit more resource intense here. Let's change the electric piano instrument plugin out for Alchemy, which is MainStage's most resource heavy plugin. And it's a great plugin, uh, but it is resource heavy. And let's see here, try this guy. Okay, now we've got one instance of Alchemy. Let's copy and paste this a few times. Alchemy uses a lot more resources for each instance than the electric piano plugin. So there we can see that CPU usage is going up, but we're still only at about 50%, and that's total core usage. So that's not one core, that's everything my computer has available. Uh, but that's, we've got a mess of channel strips in here, and it's still fine. So let's duplicate this some more and see if we can break it. So as we've done this, every time I duplicate, it's a little sluggish while that happens, especially when I was copying and pasting that patch a bunch of times. But then patch changes themselves are still pretty quick. Um, even though we have more going on now in memory and more in CPU usage, it's still not that bad. We're getting close to 100% now and we've probably got like 25 or 30 channel strips total 
in this patch. Um, we'll just keep copying and pasting to see how much it takes to cause an audio dropout. And the, the real great thing here is that I found personally in my experience that Mainstage will let you know it's being asked to do too much by dropping notes or dropping audio or giving you distorted audio before it will actually crash. Like Mainstage won't just shut down or stop working. Your audio signal will just decrease in quality. Uh, and that's great because it lets you know that there's something wrong without uh, the program shutting down so you can't fix it. So when you notice those types of issues, you can address them within the software in real time. So one thing I notice is that my fan is, it's kicked into high gear, it's, it's getting pretty warm. Um, just because, this is more recent, oh, there it is. Yeah, so we've hit a wall, uh, probably at like 40, 35 or 40 channel strips. And we're noticing this distorted audio. If I change to a different patch, uh, CPU usage drops right back down. Um, even though this mega patch is in the concert because it's not actually doing too much thinking in real time when that patch isn't selected, um, my CPU usage drops way back down. Um, but we definitely hit a wall here after, I don't know, maybe 20 instances, 25 instances of alchemy. Uh, where Mainstage let us know like, hey, that's, that's too many instances. Now, one uh, really big variable here is your audio buffer size. So what I'm gonna do here is reduce the number of channel strips back down by quite a few. Okay, so now I've removed some instances of Alchemy where we're back to being able to play without CPU overload. Uh, CPU is being pushed pretty hard, but like I said, your audio buffer size can play a big part in this. So here in advanced audio settings, right now I'm at 128. So let's see what happens if we go down to 64. Now, if you're not familiar with what your buffer size does in main stage, higher buffer sizes give your computer more time to think between you playing a note and you hearing a note. So here we are at 64. So when I decrease the buffer size, I'm giving Mainstage less time to process between me playing something and me hearing it. So it's still keeping up with me playing like four notes at a time, but if I play... Play more notes, maybe change patches, change back. So you can see that visually, Mainstage is starting to have a hard time keeping up. The audio still uninterrupted, which I'm actually kind of surprised by. I would never tell anybody to run their buffer as low as 64. Let's uh, let's try going even lower. Um, let's try 32. This is a super tiny buffer. Um, I once ran an entire service when I was first starting out with Mainstage at a buffer size of 32, and afterwards I probably could have cooked an egg on my Mac. I didn't know what the buffer size did. I thought smaller is probably better. So I tried it and we made it through the service, amazingly, but my computer was really hot afterwards. Okay, so now at 32, I'm noticing artifacts. And some glitches. Uh, but the real point I'm trying to make is main stage hasn't crashed. It's just letting us know that we could do more to give it time to do what we're asking it to do. So in this scenario, I don't know what patch you would possibly need, 20 instances of Alchemy and 10 instances of electric piano all going at once. Um, if you're playing at church, you're probably using a handful of patches for any service. You don't need 25 patches open in your concert. You will never, I guarantee never, need a buffer size as small as 32. Three milliseconds of output latency is less than the latency of a grand piano. You will not be able to tell the difference, I guarantee, between three milliseconds and eight or 10 milliseconds. So bring that buffer size back up, give your computer some more time to think, some more time to process. So I find this uh, really helpful to know that Mainstage has some limitations to what it can do before you'll start to notice 
things that aren't good, like audio dropouts, sluggish response, slow patch changes. Um, but you're gonna run into that wall most times before you run it as like a catastrophic failure during a live performance, like main stage freezing or main stage crashing entirely. Um, so these are things to keep in mind. Figure out where the limits are for your computer. I'd actually be really curious to hear from you folks and how much you're able to get away with before you experience some of the same issues that I've demonstrated while we've been trying to break this thing. Um, and now that I'm not playing, my computer fan has slowed right back down. And on this classic electric piano patch with 15 instances, my CPU usage is back down to 10%. All right, folks, so now that you have a clearer picture of just how much you can ask MainStage to do, we've got resources to help you learn how to use it to its full potential. I'll include a link in the description of this video to our blog, where you can check out more video tutorials just like this one that will teach you how to use MainStage. I'll also include a link in the description to our weekly newsletter, so you can sign up for that newsletter. We'll send out a free MainStage patch every Wednesday, along with our newest MainStage video tutorials. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching.